with this quill. Because uh, now I can't work any longer. So I thought, right, maybe I put it in my pocket. And I went like, and I thought, mm -mm, no, I'm not wearing trousers. And I thought, oh, maybe I could put it in there in the back. And I thought, no, 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 this thing is too sharp. It will hurt if I put it in there. And I thought, oh, the best place would be to put it into the mouth. And of course, he pushed the quill into the mouth and thought, hmm, maybe just leave a tiny little piece out the mouth. And remember, folks, it's a dry season, so food is really very scarce. And Rhino fell asleep, but he was feeling a little bit better. And then a troop of baboons came, of course, also heading towards the water hole for a bit of a drink and then eventually climb up the mountain where they would roost for the night. And uh, the big male within the troop, um, you know, saw this thing coming out the mouth of the rhino, black and white, of course, and in his brain, he was like, wham! And I was like, yeah, protein! And he's like, yeah, dry season! And of course, he started stalking this rhino, like really stalking very quietly, and pulled the quill and ran for cover and ah! just that the rest of the troop can really run because it's an alarm call that he chases everybody away from him and they did of course board it and ran for for cover um then he started chewing onto this quill and like, um, uh, uh, not edible and of course he left to the rest of the troop and rhino woke up in the morning and as the sun was rising he was feeling a lot more better and we know they're full of energy you know they bounce on their feet and he goes like so he's trying to smell around as they normally do. It's like, ah, everything started falling back into place. And he remembered being with an elephant. Then he remembered, of course, an elephant pinning him down to the ground. And he thought, oh, this hurts. But it feels better. What happened? And he thought, oh, porcupine, help me. But now where's the quill? So he checked his pocket. It's like, oh, but I'm not wearing trousers. Then he checked his rear end and he's like, ah, uh -uh, no, I wouldn't put it there because it would hurt. And then he thought, well, oh, in my mouth. So he checked his mouth, but then, of course, the quill was not there because the baboon took it, but the rhino didn't know. So he thought, right, what happened? If it was in my mouth, I most likely swallowed the quill. So today, when rhinos, bulls, defecate, of course, they always come to these toilets, drop as much as they can, kick the dung open because they're still looking for the quill. <laughs> <laughs>